Jeff Ranieri back with us now. Talk about what's happening in that part of the country and then, of course, our mm -hmm. forecast here at home, Jeff. Yeah, and, and just as we heard in that report, the storm surge really is the number one threat. You're just not going to be able to outrun a 10 to 20 foot wall of water that's headed uh, with that landfall. So if you have friends or family in the area, I just wanted to reiterate, we've got the graphic up here. It is a category four hurricane winds of 150 miles per hour possible at landfall and really Port Arthur, Texas. That's going to be the bullseye of this. So family or friends in and around that area that live near the coastline, make sure you uh, let them know if they're taking it, uh, you know, lightly by any means they need to evacuate again near Port Arthur, Texas rain six to 20 inches flooding a huge, huge threat and also those wind gusts, of course, at landfall 150 miles per hour. We'll have more at NBCBayArea.com. Now let's go ahead and bring it back to our severe weather. The air quality, the good news today, it has gotten a lot better. We have that fog at the coastline. It's now about two and a half days of that fog building and it's really just helping to act like a big fan and push the smoke off towards the east. So you'll notice on my map here, the areas in green, good air quality areas in yellow moderate so all of our inland locations now reading with moderate air quality so we are able to breathe definitely a lot easier now if we get higher containment on the fires overnight uh, we will continue to see these much better pictures like we're seeing over Livermore right now uh, but we are still likely going to teeter into the unhealthy range at a few times tomorrow for the North Bay East Bay and South Bay but overall numbers again are lowering. We'll keep up to date on that. Let's bring it to the fires. We have the North Bay fire, South Bay, and also the Santa Cruz fires. We've been tracking this for you for, uh, you know, days now, and you can see up to the North Bay, the good news, only 5,000 acres of growth. So that is a big, big plus for us. Uh, it shows the firefighters are getting a better handle on this. Tomorrow, 80s, humidity at 28%. Down to the South Bay, Minimal growth here, 2,000 acres, so firefighters getting a handle on this as well. Tomorrow, 87 gusts of 20. And for the Santa Cruz Mountains, we've seen 2,000 acres of growth and some of the hot spots right there on the southern side. And look at this humidity tomorrow, up to 48%. So that's that low-level moisture coming from the fog that's aiding in this battle. Uh, temperatures will be cool by the coast and then hot inland, 65 in San Francisco, go out to Antioch. 90, go down to Morgan Hill. We're at 86. My extended forecast in San Francisco, 60s as we head right through this upcoming weekend with some of that morning fog rolling back in. And the inland valleys will stay in the 90s as we head through the next several days. So I think right now with that fog, this could be the chance. Again, firefighters have to make additional progress over the next 12 hours. Probably some of the best news we've had in days, yeah, right? For sure. Thanks, Jeff.